Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and also welcome if it's your first time and also welcome to Disney's Animal Kingdom. Today we're actually going to go inside the park and try and look for a, a very iconic treat I have not had in a very long time, but we're going to go inside the park. We got like an hour or two left for the uh, park closed because like it's slow season. Also, it's Disney's Animal Kingdom it closed early. But anyways, let's go on in and get our treat. I now pass through the front of the ticket booths. I do love going to Animal Kingdom. It's been a long time, but it's a great park. And coming on in, honestly, I know this is a food video, but I just want to show an animal because this because I never actually went this close. This is a baby rusa. It's kind of like an Asian pig. But yeah, look at that thing. It's kind of cute. And yes, I know this is a food channel, but still, one that show ever is because it's awesome. So currently at the moment, I am looking for the infamous Mickey pretzel. Um, I've had it before at Magic Kingdom, though, like those locations are, but I don't remember like where the Mickey pretzel is here at Animal Kingdom. So that's what we're gonna have today. And I think after that, we might do like a treat day, maybe a Mickey bar, which is like, you know, the ice cream bar, and also the Dole Whip. Oh, the Dole Whip's so good. But today, Mickey pretzel. All right, guys, actually now I'm navigating through the Africa area. I have not found the Mickey pretzel yet, but actually I did want to show you all something really quick. So over here, of course, we have some of the ice cream bars over here and I'm sandwiches as well. But I just want to show you all the popcorn buckets and a sipper. So we have Simone and Pumba. So Pumba is a popcorn bucket. I believe Simba is a sipper. And here is Simba. Those are pretty cool. Now, if all those tales here at Disney's Animal Kingdom, also I'm entering the world of Pandora. That's what y'all hear by now. But I do have backup plans. So now over here in Pandora, they do have my backup item for today. But I'm gonna keep looking for like what I actually want to get today. I was actually told by a cast member where I should look. Now, if you guys have never been to Disney's Animal Kingdom, I highly recommend it. Like, take a look at this. It's super immersive. The only bad part about it is it closes early due to like, all the animal conservation stuff. Definitely understandable, but it's super awesome, especially here in Pandora at nighttime. Like, everything glows. Like, the whole ground has like this like glow in the dark kind of stuff. It's super awesome. Okay, guys, actually, just now like, walking in circles because, like, for some reason, Mickey pretzels are hard to find here in Animal Kingdom. But one location I actually walked by, but I thought it was closed. It might have been something else, maybe, but it's called The Bar. So, hopefully, they will have it over here in Asia. Okay, so round two in Asia. And some people say Asia, some people say um, Everest area. This depends on your perspective. All right, guys, here we are. Bar, the Thirsty River. I can't believe I walk right past this. I mean, it is a bar, but supposedly they had pretzel. Oh, I think I see it. Let's actually walk around. I'm literally right in front of Everest over here. That's the uh, standby line. Also, um, Lightning Lane. And here we go, regular bar. And also, Thirsty River Bar and Trek Snacks. And here they are, guys, the Mickey Pretzels. And also, they are loaded up on the popcorn buckets. There is the Timon Sipper, a little Mickey Pumpkin Sipper, and a little canteen over here for Animal Kingdom. And also for the Lion King's 30th anniversary, this little sipper over here. It's pretty awesome stuff. All right, guys. Now, I've got my seat over here. It's actually nice and quiet over here. And also, mission accomplished. We got our first Walt Disney World snack, and it's the iconic Mickey pretzel. Take a look at that bad boy. Now this was eight dollars thirty cents. No discounts whatsoever. Just Disney doesn't do that for like their uh, snacks and stuff. But hopefully it is good. The last time I had one was either a year ago or like a year and a half ago. I think I was at Magic Kingdom and it was like right before Happily Ever After. I think like the, when it first came back out and that was a horrible Mickey pretzel. But this seems pretty hot. I am ready for it and it's nice and salt and I'm excited for it, man. And also, I got myself an ice water. Super good, oh yeah. But yeah, let's go ahead and dive into this pretzel and as people say, ears first.
it's your standard pretzel <laughs> but it actually is pretty good and fresh um ooh uh casper over by a discovery island she was like this is where you should go because i just stocked it i was like that's very good info to know and again so weird being in disney and there's only one place that serves it i guess because like it's a really hot park they have like a lot of like ices here like frozen cokes um frozen jack and coke some kind of treats um my backup item for today was gonna be the oversized uh, barbarian pretzel at a uh, pandora like that thing is huge it also comes with beer cheese uh, but this one just comes with a cheddar cheese but it is hot so let's actually try it inside of here next it's actually a pretty big cup Mmm. Now that is good for a good first snack here at Disney. Mmm. Now I do know they have like churros and stuff, but also Universal has churros. Like it's nothing like iconic, but it is at the same time. So um, that's it. Now during May the 4th for Star Wars, they have lightsaber churros. One's red, one's blue. That's pretty cool. I've had it once in like 2022, I believe. Mm. But I think I'd rather have a pretzel than a churro. And also here is an exclusive look at Mickey Mouse without his ears. But he's still smiling though. Now honestly, on a rating of like a 1 to 10, I would probably give this like the pretzel by itself a five and a half out of ten it's just a standard pretzel but with this cheese honestly i think it makes it like a seven mm. if you're hungry in the parks this is definitely something to get mm. but if it's not fresh it might not be that good all right guys that will do it today at disney's animal kingdom for our first video here in the theme parks honestly it was a lot of fun today it didn't look like it because like i walked around the whole park looking for one item a mickey pretzel and um i walked right past it the first time and they wasn't even thinking about it but this place usually shows alcohol and drinks but it's actually like a two-sided place and divided it has drinks and it also has a snack stand i just didn't really see it because I guess it was like tucked behind kind of, but it's there. And I was like, oh man, I was almost going to get the uh, Barbarian pretzel with the beer cheese at Pandora today. But that will be another video um, sometime later on because um, it's really good. I had it once. It's it's a mega pretzel. <laughs> but anyways, it's a lot of fun here today. And just bring along with me in the theme parks because like it's super fun. And it's different for me like doing a video inside your car and you're in a restaurant you're in a theme park it's awesome um you know with disney universal sea world bush gardens even legoland has some cool food <laughs> but anyways um really hope to bring y'all along with me for our next video in the theme parks not sure when but we're gonna be throwing it in there just a little bit because like i don't want to be like theme park based but also like um food from the theme parks it'd be kind of cool concept <laughs> but anyways um hope you all guys did enjoy this video and if you did enjoy this video make sure a big old thumbs up and scratch up for more future content i will see you guys next one thank you so much for watching